Hello, good day, grade 10 student of Alegria National High School. So, narito na naman tayo upang uh, magbigay sa inyo ng uh, additional information regarding doon sa uh, second activity na ibinigay ko sa inyo regarding this uh, kind of uh, graph na kung saan ay dito nyo kukunin yung mga sagot ninyo sa apat na tanong. So, ang ating graph is earthquake, uh, primary wave, and secondary wave travel time. So, if you have noticed that meron ditong uh, dalawang chord line that represent for the primary wave and the other one is the secondary wave. So, the four questions na ipinigay ko sa inyo, yung mga sagot ay dito makukuha. So, our Y axis represent for the time travel which is in minutes. Remember that in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So, if our interval for from uh, the first point on the graph our interval for the time travel is 1 so our number here starts from 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so these numbers represent for the minute so the time travel in minute then for the x axis it represents for the distance in kilometer. So, meron tayong numbering dito sa x-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. But, if we are going to uh, multiply this by 10 raised to 3, this will become... 1 will become 1,000. So, our distance from 0 to 1 is 1,000. So this is 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, and so on and so forth. So this uh, example is different from the given in your activity sheets, but the question may be the same. But you are going to look at the table in your activity sheets so that you will get the answer on what question is asked in your activity sheets. Okay, the first question is An epicenter station is 4,000 kilometers away. How long? After the first primary wave, did the first secondary wave arrive? So, yung tinatanong dito, how long it represents for the time? So, according to our problem 1, the epicenter station is at 4,000. So, hanapin mo yung 4,000 dito sa graph. So, ang sabi ko kanina, 1 is equivalent to 1,000. So, yung 4,000 dito is nandito. So, ang tinatanong dito is how long. I mean, say, we are going to find out what will be the difference of the primary and the secondary time travel. Okay, so if you observe at 4,000 kilometer, Narito siya, yung primary wave. So, the bottom line here represents for the primary wave. And the upper line here is represent for the secondary wave. So, 4,000. So, if we are going to put a point here at 4,000, then we will go up to the secondary wave. So, this will be the time that we're going to uh, guess. So, how to get the real time? Okay, so we're going to subtract um, 
that is 8 point something. So, mean to say, lampas yung line dito sa 8 minutes. So, the, the, the time here, or the interval of the time here, is 1 minute. So, in 1 minute, there are 60 seconds. So, if we are going to divide this 1 into 4, so, how many 60 minutes divided by 4, it must have uh, 15. Or it should have 15. So, I mean to say, upper, upper siya from 8 minutes. So, it, it must be, or it can be, 8.15 8 minus 4. So, the answer there is 4.15. The time interval. Okay, so the next question. So you are going to subtract uh, 8.15 minus 4. So the answer there for the question number one is uh, 4.15. Okay, for the second question, an epicenter station is 6,000 kilometer away. How long after the P wave did the first secondary wave arrive? So, nan, nandiyan naman yung epicenter natin sa 6,000 km. So, hanapin mo yung 6 dito since 6 is equivalent to 6,000. So, we, we will guess now here. So, this will be the line yung gagamitin mo yung sa 6 so it can be uh, 5.45 then subtracted by 9.45 so 6.45 or 5.45 minus 9.45 the answer there is 4 okay so that would be the answer for question number two okay next question which is number three how far can an is wave travel in six minutes and 40 seconds so how far I mean to say gaano kalayo so yung tinatanong dito is distance so binigyan tayo ng time which is six minutes and 40 seconds Okay, so, nandito yung 6 minutes, so, 40 seconds here. So, going to say, lampas siya, malapit lang siya sa uh, 7, 40. So, our time here is 6 minutes and 40 seconds. So, how far can an S wave travel in 6 minutes and 40 seconds? seconds so that is so based on this so is wave at six minutes and 40 seconds the secondary wave is here so you will go down at this so may say secondary wave is at three thousand kilometers okay next the last question, number four, is How far can a primary wave travel in 6 minutes and 40 seconds? So, yung titignan na naman natin na line is for primary wave at 6 minutes and 40 seconds. So, 6 minutes and 40 seconds. So, approximately... This, this line is at 6 minutes and 40 seconds. So, going to the line to the primary wave, and that is at 7,000. And approximately, that is 7,000. This will be our line here. So, it's more than 7. So, therefore, approximately, that is 
7,200 yung uh, layo ng primary wave doon sa secondary wave at sa at 7,200 yung layo ng primary wave sa secondary wave at around 6 minutes and 40 seconds. So that is on how we uh, answer the questions that I give to you for activity number 2. That's it. Thank you so much for my questions. Just message me on my Facebook, Jose Arbalati Dolfo. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jose Arbalati Dolfo. Thank you.